Yo, what is going on guys? It's Hidden Rain again. And yeah, I want to make a video about how to update your CS918S to the newest firmware or ROM. Alright, so basically what you're gonna wanna get uh, actually just have your CS918S ready and the USB connect to your computer all right um yeah all the links will be in the description i've also added a link to where you can download a rom that has already been rooted so yeah just download that there um first i want to show you the official website where these links come from um, it is the it's the a Chinese website so you need like some kind of plugin on your Google Chrome called Google Translator search that up okay just go to CS918S they also have CS96 I mean CS968 yeah just translate this okay yeah, the latest one is CS918S software. This is an image file. Okay. I've downloaded the image. And also you need to download the Phoenix Suit packet. Which is going to be the, the tool that we're going to use. Okay, uh, yeah, just extract the Phoenix tool. Let's take a second. And you're also gonna wanna, you're gonna also wanna extract the image file. If you want to flash on your device. Okay, uh, just to tell you guys that 500, that means it is for the 5 megapixel camera, and for the 200, means 2 megapixel camera. Yeah, just and if it says N that's English and then yeah and then after that comes the date okay uh, yeah just install Phoenix suit packet first the tool just I don't even know how to read Chinese but just follow me it's what I'm clicking on Um, if it might take a while. Um, yeah, you can always uninstall this if you don't like this on your computer. So I'm just gonna have to pause the video for a bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just finished installing it, and I forgot to hit the record button again. But basically, if it shows, yeah, I just click. Okay, yeah, I click. Uh, keep clicking next and yeah there's just two warnings that are going to show up you have to click install driver anyway but yeah that's about it and then at the end it's gonna say the, fin the installation is finished but in chinese and you go on the bottom right where it shows up at c and then some chains letter and then you click that so anyways, let's open up Phoenix Suit, the tool. Alright, just click on firmware. Now we are going to go to our CS918S. Okay, here's the CS918S. And if you take a look at the back, it says OTG. You have to get your USB cable that connects the device to the computer. This one, the small one, will go to the device, and this one will go to the PC. Let's plug in the one that goes to the PC. Well, okay, I just did that. And now you're going to plug the other end the CS918S. Let's go to the computer. 
and you, sh you should hear some kind of sound goes like do do like Windows said in sound okay just heard it right now okay don't you don't need to upgrade alright so let's go back to the tool and um yeah it says right here no device attached yet so we're gonna fix that later first uh, get the image I mean the the flash image that we're going to do and then you click upgrade then yes okay it says no device to be upgraded you click ok and click ok again you just follow the steps long press the power key let's go back to the CS918 test long press the power key at least 10 seconds to power off the device ok I'm doing that right now 10 seconds Okay, that's more than 10 seconds. And then just remove the device, the USB from the device. And then, yeah, let us click the reset button, which is located right here. Hold it. Yours might need a needle to hold it down, hold it. And then plug in the USB again to the device and let's go back to computer and just press OK and yeah it's been fixed okay now it, now if as you can see right now on my screen forced format um you can either do an upgrade mode or a full format. I I want to do a full format, but if you want to keep your files, I'm pretty sure you've already backed up everything, hopefully. And uh, yeah, just click yes. I you want yeah, force format cuz that's what I wanted. Okay, this will take a while, so Just, um, oh yeah, after this has finished, you are going to, yeah, just unplug the USB and test out the device. I will pause the video after this has finished installing the firmware. Okay, yeah, upgrade firmware succeeded. Now, I'll just close that and unplug your CS918S from the computer and yeah, just enjoy your new firmware. Also, I want to mention that if this doesn't work for you, you probably flashed the wrong image file. Whereas if you are your device is a 5 megapixel one yeah you probably flash the 200 megapixel image file so yeah 500 W means 5 megapixel and 200 W means 200 megapixel so anyways that has been my tutorial and yeah, be on the lookout for more.